Welcome to the Easy Dev Toots HTML tutorial. And in this tutorial, actually this series of tutorials, we're going to be studying HTML. Now, uh, what is HTML? Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, uh, which is exactly what it is. HTML is a markup language. And what it does is it tells your web browser uh, what content to display. Uh, now, by content, I mean your text and your images and your videos and pretty much anything being displayed on the uh, on the browser. Now what HTML does is it separates this content from uh, its presentation layer, meaning uh, the blue background you can see here on my home page or the black background. And by presentation layer I mean the CSS uh, which stands for uh, Cascading Style Sheets. Now CSS is used to style out this HTML and I'll be going over that in a separate series uh, but for now I'm going to focus on what HTML is and um, how it's used. So um, before I get started with that what I want to do is set up an environment for learning and for developing and I have open another tab and it's at the domain brackets.io and this is the editor that I'll be using uh, throughout this series. Now this editor is available for both uh, Windows and Mac so it's not um, OS specific. I think there's a Linux build. I'm not quite sure. Uh, you can see here in this section it says there's a new and improved version so I know they're at least working on one at the time of this video. Uh, but as I said I'm going to be using this because it's got some cool features that I'd like to use for instruction plus I think it's a great way to for beginners uh, who are starting out with HTML and if you're watching this video I'm assuming you are or maybe you're a seasoned developer who's just looking to uh, refresh your memory um, anyway uh, go ahead and download that and I'll leave that step to you to download and install and set up I won't go through that I'm using a Mac myself so if you're on a Windows um, go ahead and follow the instructions to do that when you're done downloading it, go ahead and open it up and what you should see is a screen similar to this. Um, in this area here, you're going to have a bunch of HTML with um, some text already written out for you and it's basically a welcome page uh, for the brackets um, editor. To your left side, you're going to see the files that are already set up for you. Uh, one of them will be an HTML, the other will be a CSS. And uh, for now, we're not going to worry too much about uh, these two files, but if you get to this point, uh, that means you successfully installed it and you're ready to start. Now, before we actually begin the series, um, we're going to set it up just a little bit more. Uh, Brackets offers some pretty cool extensions, and one of them is a theme. And I've already installed this theme, but what it does is it changes uh, the background of this editor and it allows you to choose between different colors. Um, I have it installed already and I've got several themes. I prefer to use Peacock and that's the one I'll be using throughout this guide. Um, there's others that you can use and um, it really depends on whatever your preference is. Um, in order to install this uh, theme setting option you're going to want to go to your extension manager and to get there and this is both on Windows and Mac you're going to want to click on file and select the extension manager drop down and um, from here you'll see a list of extensions available if you'd like you can go ahead and uh, scroll through all of them and maybe you'll find one that's useful to you for now the only one that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using for this series is the themes for bracket uh, and as you can see I have it already installed so go ahead and install that if you'd like and again that's only if you want to change the theme of the editor out. You really don't have to do this. Um, I've gotten so used to using a dark background that I feel like I kind of have to. Um, one last thing. Uh, brackets comes with something called a live preview mode which I think is really cool and I find it very useful. And to activate that you have to click to file and live preview. Uh, what it's going to do is open up a browser and a uh, quick note it requires that you have the Chrome browser installed. Um, I'm, I don't know if it will support other browsers but for now um, it requires Chrome so if you don't have that you'll still be able to follow this series 
uh, you'll just have to open the file uh, from your browser just by clicking file and uh, open file now and the reason I bring this up is because it's pretty cool uh, especially when you're testing um, it allows you to edit your HTML and get a live preview of uh, what it is that you're writing so for example it looks like I'm if I wanted to change this I can put get it getting started with um, easy dev tubes and uh, it'll automatically update within the browser so that's pretty much the quick setup if you've gotten to this point that means you're ready to go on with the series and start the first part uh, which is going to be what all of this stuff is between uh, this first line and the last line of code what all these tags mean and um, how you can get started with HTML so I hope you look forward to this series I look forward to helping you learn and if you haven't done so already go ahead and like and subscribe and for uh, more tutorials, check out my um, website, easydevtoots.com.